Here comes the Mazda CX-5, which I'll have for a day. And I'll give it a nice, quick but thorough review. I already own a 2014 Mazda 3, which I find to be a peppy and comfortable small car that gets great gas mileage. This is my Mazda CX-5 for the drive today. It's a Mazda company car, thus the Michigan license plates. And I like the red color. It seems like so many cars these days are black, white, gray, and silver. And the past couple years you've started to see cars breaking out from that. So you're getting other colors, some blues and reds and greens. Notice the big monster Mazda the uh, logo on the front, well that's got image, uh, that's got sensors in it to sense the traffic and road conditions and I'll probably be talking more about that because this CX-5 has all the tools in it. It's got uh, navigation, it's got driver assistance packages, radar, you name it. Uh, it knows where you are on the road and uh, helps you drive and I'm, I'm interested in trying some of that stuff out. In the meantime, here's what it looks like inside. Pretty comfy. It's got the console with all the stuff in it. There's my other camera and my cell phone. Uh, lots of controls on the steering wheel. So hopefully this won't be too confusing to drive. It's got a heads-up display that maybe I'll give you a taste for. And uh, that's what the front seats look like. It looks like it's leather. The guy from Mazda told me it has, this car has all the tools, everything that a CX-5 can have, except for all-wheel drive. There's plenty of room for cargo in the back of the CX-5, and the seats flip down for even more storage. Under the hood is Mazda's 2.5-liter four-cylinder engine with Sky Active technology. That's the technology that uh, Mazda uses to get pretty peppy engines that just sip gasoline. So, But still, when you have as big a vehicle as this, the gas mileage is not as good as with the uh, compact, the uh, Mazda 3 that I own, which gets unbelievably good gas mileage. Uh, for all of the toys and luxury of this car, uh, surprisingly enough, it uses a prop rod to hold up the hood, which is a little surprising to me. Otherwise, everything looks fairly easy to get to under the hood, so shouldn't be that hard a car to work on. Of course, things like spark plugs are under this big cover on top, so you have to take the cover off to get at that. Uh, the spark plugs and, and some of the things below that, but otherwise fluids and so forth are easy to handle. With its raised wagon style, the CX-5 is the perfect car to make runs to Home Depot. Here's how the 2017 Mazda CX-5 compares with a couple of similarly priced and sized cars. On the left, that's a Ford Edge, and on the right is a Subaru Outback, and you can see that they're just about all the same size. The Ford Edge is a little bit taller. It might also be a little bit pricier. But the CX-5 and the Subaru Outback, those two are going to be competitors. Well, so far the CX-5 feels solid. It's smooth. It's quiet. The uh, 2.5 liter engine, the Sky Active engine, is quite peppy. Now, all of that said, this isn't a kind of a barn burner. You're not going to outrun a Porsche Cayenne in the CX-5, not by a long shot, but it feels very solid. The doors are very, very uh, confidence-inspiring. They feel very solid, and they, they shut with a real good thunk. Uh, the inside, the car is comfortable to drive. The controls are all where you expect them to be. I've really been enjoying the heads-up display uh, right in front of me. Very easy for me to see what speed I'm going, what the signs are saying as far as the uh, the speed limits up ahead and so forth. My cruise control settings, those are all in the heads-up display. I've been buzzed a few times by the electronic nannies in this car telling me that, oh, I've got my turn signals on and there may be a car in my blind zone, but in all those cases, it was fine. Uh, I've also had the cruise control slow the car down when it thought I was getting too close to vehicle. So the automatic nannies can be a little distracting sometimes. You can turn them off so you don't have to live with them. The leather wrap steering wheel, the look of the interior is all pretty nice. To me, this is kind of luxurious. Now, there's a lot more luxurious cars than this, so I'm sure if you're into luxury 
uh, SUVs and so forth that this isn't going to impress you all that much. But for me, coming from a compact car, relatively inexpensive economy car, this is pretty luxurious and smooth. Now, right now I've got it in the sport mode and it's supposed to kind of uh, tighten up the handling some, but I haven't been on any roads where the handling can really be tried out. The brakes are good, a little bit touchy, not bad. Brakes are good. The gas pedal is exactly what you expect it to do. All of the dash controls are very nice. Uh, the car has been getting good mileage. So far, I've put about 88 miles on the car, and the gauge here says that I'm getting about 31 miles per gallon. Most of my driving has been out of the city, but not all of it. There's been some stop and go stuff. So, so far, so good here in the 2017 Mazda CX-5. So this CX-5 has some of Mazda's zoom zoom. However, when I switched it into the sport mode, the six-speed transmission seemed to, to shift down two gears and I couldn't get it to move up back into the higher gears even when I achieved some speed. So that, of course, made the engine speed much higher and uh, so it made sport just not a mode that I would want to drive in for very long. Other than that, in the normal mode, it has some sporty pretensions. It's got plenty of pep, it handles well, the brakes are pretty good, slightly touchy, but pretty good. And one other little uh, quibble about this is I really enjoy the head-up display. However, with sunglasses on, you can hardly see it. So I've taken my sunglasses off so that I can better see the heads-up display. Overall, the 2017 Mazda CX-5 was a good car to drive. It was agile, surprisingly agile for its size, got decent gas mileage, is comfortable, had lots of luxury touches, and all the electronic bells and whistles in this car were fun to use. I, I was really surprised at how much I enjoyed using some of the things, such as the a blind spot uh, recognition so it was telling me when cars were in my blind spots that was really helpful and it would automatically slow down a car as I approached it when I was in the cruise control mode and that was really good too so uh, there's also one other thing where you if you drift out of your lane it would give you a warning that you're drifting out of your lane very neat stuff so I enjoyed the 2017 Mazda CX-5 I recommend it this is a good car and a good value Hey everybody, this is Bob Kovacs. Thanks for watching.